So this is beginning to feel a little bit more like a science project. Uh, and I'm beginning to get a little bit more comfortable with the process. So then I'm going to mix up another batch and I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and cover this with another layer rather than waiting for four or five hours like the instructions said. Sometimes I don't follow the instructions, I'm just that kind of guy. But I'm going to go ahead and mix this up, which is that whole 12 minute process that we went through earlier. And then I'm going to apply it to these pieces as far as it goes. And then uh, we'll see where we're at after that. And I'm going to give you a little update on my project from yesterday. Uh, this is the stuff I've been using. It's called Glaze Coat. Um, it's pretty expensive and it doesn't go very far. That said, and also it's, it's a pain in the neck, but it's, uh, it's also amazingly nice looking when it works. This is all dry and you can see it's all glassy looking and this is that old wood that was in my kitchen. In fact, this is the piece that was broke into three pieces. Now there are places here where you didn't get that shiny effect and I kind of was picking this up reading the instructions and learning as I was going along and um, what you have to do on these is when you have old rough wood like this you have to seal it which is what's happened down here and that's basically where this stuff is just soaked into the wood so rather than having that effect of looking like it's kind of sitting on top of it and turning all glassy uh, in certain places where it can uh, it's soaked into the wood and then I have to go back and redo that I'm hoping I've got I've got a little more than a half of each container and this is my second one of these that I've bought I'm hoping there's enough there to cover all these areas, which I'm going to try to do this morning and seal them all up and have them look good. I've almost reached a point where after this coat, I may just call it good enough. I've thought about putting it on the wall just like that, and I thought, well, it sure would look good if I could get it all nice and shiny like that. So I did keep a heat lamp on it during the night. Uh, they say it works better if you keep it nice and warm, and I've been trying to keep it nice and warm while I've been doing the work. So, I guess with that said, I'll stop talking and start mixing and see what we can come up with.